Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome, and today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of uh, this 1999, I think, uh, Land Rover Defender RWM IK Plus. Um, in fairness, I did do the video a couple of weeks ago before I decided to grow a beard. Uh, so apologies for the continuity, the, vid the driving video, shall we say, before I did, uh, before I grew a beard. So apologies for the continuity, but uh, needs must and all that. Anyway, hope you enjoy it. Okay, let's have a look around this uh, Land Rover Defender RWMIK Plus. Um, this one's, well, we just bought it direct from uh, direct from the MOD. It's uh, undergoing the registration process at the minute. It's been MOT'd, flew through its MOT back in September. Um, and all the paperwork is just with the DVLA to, uh, to UK register it. I've driven it on the road. <laughs> it's rather splendid. Um, obviously doesn't suit everybody, but uh, if you're a def Defender aficionado, shall we say, um, this has got to be one of the ones to have. Um, this one is, I think, a 1999 model. Um, finished, as they all almost always seem to be in desert sand, and with very low um, odometer reading. This is the, uh, the weatherproof cover for the, um, for the instruments and dash and everything. Obviously, that all comes off, showing just under 5,400 kilometers, which is no reason to assume that's not correct. And it's all in the, uh, the correct spec. Obviously the, uh, the guns and the radios have been removed. So you've got an awful lot of uh, hydraulic piping and stuff um, that's been, uh, been capped off, but uh, it's all there. That's where radios go in there. Normally with crew four, you've got, um, radio operator sits there and those are his radios would be up here you've got gunner that sits down there but when he's in his turret it's um up there and you've got the commander sits in the left hand seat here which does sit very slightly higher than the driver's seat and you've obviously got your driver now it does weigh rather a lot it probably weighs three and a half tons because it's all armor plated underneath if you look under here you can see the uh, angled um, angled floor uh, that's to prevent uh, IED damage and the the armor plating is really thick and you can see where it goes all around here and um, that's what a centimeter thick armor plate there goes all around the floors and everything but we'll uh, we'll start at this corner now i'm not going to go it's obviously in, you know military painted so there's lots of bits where the paints come off and what have you and various uh, various things with the paint but it is what it is so i'm not going to highlight every single ding and donk on it there's lots of them um clearly it has been used for its true purpose um obviously we have got a dent in the offside front wing here on the offside front corner of the wing which has pushed it in very slightly there uh, bonnet looks like it's been stood on by squaddies or sat on. You've got another dent there, all the way around. Obviously some paint loss around the front end. Military front bumper. Looking down the side here. Actually near side front wing looks pretty straight. I don't think there's a lot of point in me showing you the chassis on it, but I'll, uh, well, what I can through the arches. Uh, this would be the mounting for the 30 caliber machine gun for the commander to use. I say so lots of um, fittings that have been disconnected for uh, for the radio gear and everything. You've got four point harnesses for the driver and the uh, and the commander. Um, obviously, these proper seat covers are fitted to it, but uh, haven't really looked to see what the seats are like underneath. These are all so well fitted, but I can't. In fairness, from what I can see of it, they're standard Defender seats certainly but uh, they look to be in, feel to be in good shape, but I haven't taken the covers off. Uh, rifle racks there, obviously automatic transmission, which is a bit crude, it's fair to say. Um, spare wheels hung on the side there. That's the mounting for the 50 caliber machine gun. Up there, it's got sand ladders presume these bits here are for jerry cans. Have a look under here. Compressed air fittings there and everything. Uh, 
this undo that and there you've got your access to the uh, to the interior and then looking down the offside Got its special wheels on it. I can't remember what they're called, but they're really expensive and really rather special, those wheels. Built by Ricardo Engineering, these. Again, four point harnesses, and it is fun to drive it on the road. Snorkel. See a bit of slightly dented front wing there. <clears throat> Who knows? Perhaps it's been used to push a uh, a tank out of the way or something from the enemy. Who knows? But yeah, there you have it. Rather wonderful. Not many of these about. Um, a rare beast indeed. Okay, here's a quick video of the uh, 2.8 300 TDI fitted to the RWMIK Plus the engine running when it's warm. Here's all its data plates.